Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Islamic College in London. This is just to inform you of uh, what uh, some of your experiences will be when you're teaching uh, our distance learning students here. Islamic College runs a range of courses from Muslim cultures and civilizations to Islamic studies and comparative philosophy. We also have diploma courses, foundation courses, BA and MA and we're going to be talking in particular about the courses that are run from the distance learning department. We've been taking students for the distance learning department for about two years now and we have uh, two courses that have been uh, approved by Middlesex University in London. What are we looking at Sakina? Functionalism. Functionalism, we're looking at who else? Marxism. You said Marxism. Okay good, Marxism. Feminism. Okay, feminism. Radical feminism. Radical, well done. Mm -hmm. What else? Liberal. Liberal. Yeah, right. What about thinkers with regards to functionalism? Mm -hmm. Who? Mm -hmm. Give me his full name. Those courses are Islamic studies and comparative philosophy and within those two uh, master's degrees we also have a range of topics that the students can select. These courses uh, are flexible so they can be used for students who are working or who might have children as well. So students are able to uh, select which course uh, they wish to do and how long they wish to take as well. So it's advisable for tutors to bear in mind the other responsibilities that uh, the students will have while they are also doing this course. What I don't understand is uh, that what does the family do for society? Excellent question. What does the family do for society? Well, depending upon the sociological school you belong to, the family performs certain functions different. We run these courses according to a system called SCATE, which means Scope, Content, Activities, Think, Extra. And each course consists of 12 units, and one unit should be covered in one week. If the student does not manage to answer all the questions for one particular unit within that week, then they lose those extra marks. Uh, so tutors are advised to encourage the students to uh, complete the questions on a weekly basis. This is also uh, an interactive course, so it means that you need to be online almost every day to be in touch with your students and to guide them through the course uh, to make sure that they're not coming up against uh, too many difficulties.
This is quite a demanding course and this is something as well that you need to make students uh, aware of that this is going to take up perhaps 28 hours of their, of their time weekly if they are, for example, taking the course part-time and uh, doing, selecting two options to complete. So you need to be uh, in touch with your students and please uh, do encourage them to fill the questions. Uh, if, we, if the students are left uh, to, their, to their own um, effort, sometimes they may become uh, left behind and then they won't be able to finish the course properly. The whole of the MA distance learning program is run over two semesters and these two semesters consist of 12 weeks. So as you can see, the distance learning course fits into these 12 weeks. If the students don't have time to complete the course, they can also uh, take uh, one of the uh, courses in the summer term. So this course, once the students have completed uh, each semester and the units have been marked and uh, validated, then they will be eligible to complete a 3,000 word essay at the end of the semester too. Once they have completed the entire uh, master's course, then uh, they will be assessed and then they will be, uh, inshallah, uh, eligible to do the dissertation, which is 12,000 words. Yeah, I just wanted to find out whether you have um, Sahih Bukhari in English. Yes, we do. If you go around on this section... The dissertation, first of all, needs to be approved by the tutor. So the student will need to go to the tutor uh, to discuss the title of that dissertation and then uh, the tutor can assist the student um, in the process of putting the dissertation together, but obviously not interfering too much. Once the student has completed the dissertation, then uh, he or she can submit it to the tutor just one time, and the tutor uh, will be able to give some helpful uh, hints or remarks on how they can improve their dissertation.